some cautious optimism along the Outer Banks tonight as the storm moves west. Every time there is a storm there, people have to watch. Fortunately, it may just be a brush with Mother Nature this time. Then your size Jason Marks is live in Buxton where people there are watching and waiting. Jason? Yeah, Tom, there's always a concern here in Buxton and on Hatteras Island. We wanted to give you a unique perspective of what the concerns are. Now, take a look. To my left here, you got the Atlantic Ocean. Obviously, the waves have been building all day long. They look really, really angry right now. I can tell you the red flags have been up. Swimmers are not allowed to go out there because of dangerous rip currents. Now, we mentioned the other concern. Now, if you zip along over here, Rob, you look, there's the Pamlico sound over there. Now, that's the sound. It's really not that far away. And what happens during a storm a lot of times is we'll have flooding from the ocean. We'll also have flooding from the Pamlico. And many times, what will happen is those two flood areas will meet. Usually, they'll meet right in the middle. That's Highway 12 right there. And that's where we have the issue. Now, Dare County officials are telling me they do not expect that to happen this time. Uh, they are urging residents and visitors to really keep a close eye on this. As we just saw, the ocean is building and it's really becoming threatening, though. I think they're a little rough, but it's, it's nice because um, you can boogie board and you know, do some surfing and things like that. Have you ever been through a storm? Yes, I lived in uh, Daytona Beach for uh, three years and um, I think we lived through four hurricanes there. And we were here two years ago when you guys had some really rough weather. Yeah, and obviously we hope all the rough weather stays away this time. Dare County officials tell me there are no plans right now for any evacuations. We're live in Buxton. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.